I'm right side for the camera. Didi! Come on. <laughs> no, okay. Every time. She's very likes today's so cool. <laughs> Say hey, baby. And that's been where we get most of our content in, but this is where, um, is where we get the energy to make the content. So. Yeah, we thought we got a comment saying we should have some more. Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. So we're going to do a meal prep video and it's going to be chicken alfredo pasta. It's a crowd pleaser for me and Cody and it's quick and it's easy. So I'm going to show you guys how I make it. To start this meal prep, we're gonna have some chicken breast cut up into small strips, and then I'm seasoning it with Slappy Mama and garlic salt. Um, you could also use Tony's and garlic powder. I like Slappy Mama if I'm gonna use garlic salt because it's not as salty. So I'm gonna start with this chicken breast, and I'm gonna cook it with some, like probably about a tablespoon of olive oil in a pan, and I'll show you guys what that looks like. chicken's going in the skillet with the oil I'm gonna chop up an onion and probably about half of this bell pepper and then I'm gonna put that in another pan to saute with a little bit more seasoning. I'm going to add more of the seasoning to the chicken and I'm going to cover it up and let it kind of cook.
onions and bell peppers are sauteed down. I'm going to add the chicken because it's now cooked. And I'm going to mix that all up together and let it kind of incorporate. So you saw me put all this together to mix together and now we're going to boil a pot of water to do the uh, pasta. We're using thin spaghetti and that's just what we chose to use this time. Sometimes we'll do penne but because we're doing the spaghetti I'm going to break it in half before I boil it so it won't be as long. And then once that's going I'll show you what we do next. You can use whatever kind of Alfredo sauce you like. I like this Classico Alfredo sauce. The macros aren't too high in fat. Um, but I always, of course, like to doctor it up, as we say, where we throw in some seasonings to make it taste better. So I'm going to add more salt and pepper, some garlic powder, oregano, Italian seasoning, parsley, and I love red pepper, so I'm going to throw some red pepper. And I don't really measure any of this, I just kind of eyeball it. As my mother-in-law likes to say, you just do what the ancestors tell you to do. I like spicy. And then you just mix that up and let it warm up together. And then once the pasta is done boiling, we'll drain it and we'll throw it in here with this. And then you'll see the rest. We got this cool strainer from my friend Lauren who was in the vlog uh, for a housewarming gift and it is a lifesaver because it does not take up any room in the dishwasher. Now that I'm mixing it all up, I can see that I probably have not enough sauce. And you never really know until just because of how much chicken you put in, you can't really tell. So I'm probably going to add some half and half and maybe some chicken broth to kind of give it a little bit more sauce to it. And then um, probably a little bit more seasoning. And then for our side to go with it, we have a whole bunch of asparagus. It's about two of the bunches that you get. And all I did was I washed them. I cut off, you know, the ends that you're not supposed to eat and then I cut them in half. And I'm gonna sprinkle some garlic salt and roast them in the oven with the pasta. All right, so this is the finished product. Um, I added probably about a quarter cup each of the half and half and the chicken broth, and I think that's a good consistency, but if you like it to be more saucy and less thick, you can always add more. And then um, now I'm gonna, I spray this pan and I'm gonna put the pasta in here. I'm going to sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top 
just enough to cover it. Um, I would say it's probably anywhere from half a cup to a cup of cheese is usually about what it would be. And then I'm gonna put it in the oven. I'm gonna put it in the oven at 350 and then I'll let it go until the cheese melts and it starts getting a little uh, crispy on the outside. That's how I like it. Quick little editor's note um, for those of you that like to follow recipes written out, we're going to put that down in the description box below. Um, don't forget to share with us on socials if you do try this recipe out and let us know if there are any uh, alterations that you guys like. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We're going to throw that in there. Um, and yeah. You know what hurricanes are really good for? Growing neck beards. Yeesh. All right guys, so I just lit a candle here because I normally do that either during or after to get the smell of onion out the house. Um, I ended up putting the asparagus and the pasta in the oven at 350 for 20 minutes and it turned out perfect. We will divvy this up into either eight to 10 meals, so either four or five for me and Cody to have for lunches. Uh, let us know about down below if you like this video. It was pretty easy to film for me because I was doing it anyways. And um, let us know also if you would like to see a video of us going over our favorite meal preps or our favorite dinners. Um, we're thinking about doing something like that. So just let us know if that's something you would be interested in seeing. And like and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.